Hey everybody, this is Tina with 85th House Vibrations. Welcome to your reading for October 22nd, 2016. Uh, the first thing that I want to say about this is, <clears throat> this is the second time this week that we've had three major arcana in the spread. The other thing is that in, um, I can't remember what day, but there was another spread this week that had both the Fool and the Tower together. That, um, in that spread they were both upright. In this spread they are both reversed. Something has changed this week. Um, it seems as if... It seems as if some of you are either hesitant to make some sort of move or the move that you're making is risky and not well thought out. Um, with this tower card reversed, while the tower reversed is providing you some sort of movement or you know it looks like there's some sort of development that's happening um, more than likely it's not what you think with the full reversed here and the tower reversed and we're going to get to this wheel reversed in a minute it seems like some of you may be holding on to the inevitable maybe uh making a risky decision uh, by not being entirely truthful with yourself about something that is going on and by not being entirely truthful with yourself or there may be somebody who's not being entirely truthful with you <clears throat> it gives you the illusion that there is the ability to move forward with something but what you're going to find in the end is until these this tower is uh, in this case I kind of want to say until it's uprighted because this is really just a holding on to something that is inevitably going to hit the fan anyway this is just delaying that with the tower reversed in this case because there's still no movement with this wheel of fortune reversed I feel like there's going to be a need for some of you to um, not just jump out there. That would probably be a foolish thing to do today um, until you see exactly what you need to see for exactly what it is. Once that happens, then maybe you can turn the Wheel of Fortune upright. But what I see overall, unfortunately, for today is that you're either going to make a move that is risky and foolish and, and whatever's going to happen is still going to happen. It's just going to be delayed. But that happening is not necessarily going to move you forward in the most positive manner. The only thing that I can really say about this, and especially with it being the three major arcana, I think there's a, <laughs> on my planetary hours, I think there's a need to kind of sit back and take stock of things and, and really get to the truth of a particular matter. Because if you uh, try fooling yourself or if you allow somebody else to uh, try to deceive you, it's only going to leave you stuck or even put you back in this situation. I feel like with this fool and with this tower reversed, this is a one false step forward and two real steps back. I think that is the way that I uh, see this energy. And, you know, of course, sometimes everything, you know, doesn't go the way that we plan. But today may be a day to just really sit back and, and take stock of things, like I said before, and see it for what it really is before we make any attempts to do something that uh, we are 
unable to undo. The end result either way is going to be a lack of movement, a lack of progression today. So today may be just a good day to just sit back and observe. Maybe watch the game and not play it. And that's the way I see it. And I hope to see you guys again. Oh, we didn't do the numbers. <clears throat> um, let's see what we got here. We've got the fool, which is zero. And we've got the tower, which is uh, 16. And we've got the wheel, which is 10. So um, 10 plus 16 is um, 26. And 2 plus 6 is 8. So, you know, I can definitely see this being about some sort of struggles. There's a struggle to want to move forward based on something that is not necessarily the truth. There may be uh, power struggles between you and somebody who is not telling you the truth. However, the end result is still going to be a lack of movement, a lack of progressions. One false step forward, two false steps back. So definitely take that into consideration as you go about your day to day. I wish I had uh, a better interpretation of, of these cards today, but that's kind of the way I see it. And if you'd like a personal reading, please feel free to send email to tina at 85 net. And I hope to see you all again tomorrow.